Hey everybody, it is time for the new comic pre-sell. Start things off about an hour early here tonight. End up getting uh, things mostly ready. And uh, why not, right? Just go ahead and kick it off. Hey, who cares? So let me know what you guys are up to. We are going to be putting up some new books here that come out this week. I'm going to give some time for all of you to get on the feed. Those of you might not be aware that we're going live at 6. In the close-up window, that is the new issue of Spider-Man Deadpool. That is the $10 Legacy variant. Uh, we want you to like the Maddox page up top. And, of course, share out the feed everywhere you can. The more you share it, the more times publicly that you do are the more times you're entered in to win. What are you going to win? Well, we're going to do a giveaway at the end of the show, and uh, it's going to be worth it. So you want to be in on that. All right, I'm going to actually, uh, I've actually shared it already on mine. So now I'm just going to get on here and check it out, see what you guys are up to. What's up, Brian Feldon? What's up, Joshua, Barry, Brian Graw? So long as we can wait on that anticipation. I want that quick, that quick gratification. Doesn't work out. All right. Let's people on here. We're going to put some stuff up. Of course, this is the new comic. So I'm going to be putting prices on these books. They will be bagged and board as soon as you purchase them. Uh, also, to claim a book, all you claim is the letter and the number. So if a book is $4, you will put A4 to get the book in the A spot. Don't put the titles. Just put the letters. Also, only put your request in one time unless we totally ignore it and then do it again. Uh, but if it's one of these books that's like a big heavy seller, just put it in one time. If we get behind, we will get to everyone in the line as they come into our feed. Uh, I'm Jason. I'll be hosting this. And, of course, Andrew is here right now taking care of comments. And Amy is doing the tracking. Uh, Andrew will be here for the next little bit. We're going to get through some books. We'll start putting some up on the board right now. All right. First up, this is Action Comics, issue 991. This is the Oz Effect Part 5. This is the uh, Justice League cover here. You got Batman and Wonder Woman on the front. That is $3. That issue of Action Comics. That is the A book. And next it, this is Adventure Time and Regular Show, issue number four. Crossover for the ages right there. That's going to be the B book. A for three to Lissette. Thank you, Lissette. All right, next up, this is the Archies, issue number two. That is going to be the C book. For D, this is Batgirl and the Birds of Prey, issue number 16. Um, no, Kev, the, uh, the One Piece figures we had were $9. Any store incentive comics? Yes, Rick, I do have a store incentive comic. Let me see. Let me see. It was one they messed up on about a week ago. And then they have sent us the corrected version of their messed up incentive. If I can find it. Oh, that's right. Prices. I need to put prices on these things. You're right. C is four dollars, and B is also four dollars. There we go. What's up, Tommy? Uh, here you go, Rick. D for four to J. Thank you, J. Batgirl and the Birds of Prey. 
Uh, this is Kid Lobotomy, issue number one. It is the gold foil edition. The last one we sold was the messed up one, where he was completely covered in gold. This one has the gold across here, and Tiger Stripes of Gold across the back cover. This Kid Lobotomy number one is a store incentive cover, and it is $25. $25 for that. Excuse me. Uh, well, they're right now, they're $15, Kev. They're $15. Um, we don't have, uh, that was a special sell. Uh, any of the one piece we have are 15 bucks. This is Birthright, issue number 28 from Image Comics. This is going to be the ebook. This is Centipede issue number four from Atari. But we do have discount sales fairly often. You just got to keep an eye on the feed for them. And I always recommend picking up stuff anytime uh, you see it on there. This is Coyotes, issue number one. This is a new number one from Image Comics. I only have four of these available. Uh, this is basically the story of a uh, an Amazonian top society. And uh, they start getting a lot of murders going down. And uh, the Coyotes are like their special assault team, basically. It is $4. That is the G-Book for four. All right. Jay, Lissette, and David Brown each get an issue of Coyotes. You have to watch how that thing will fall out of there. That thing laying, the, the metal piece pulled out of the desk. It's not in there good, so watch out. <laughs> I have one issue of Coyotes left. Next up, this is a huge book for this week. Probably the biggest book for this week. I'm just going to put one out here on the board, and I'll pull it from the box and get it bagged and boarded for you, as many as we have. This is Batman Lost. Dark Knights Batman Lost. It is a Dark Knights metal tie-in. This is what is going on with Bruce Wayne and Batman during Dark Knight Metal after he becomes the doorway for the uh, evil Batman and, of course, the uh, Bat God. To come through into our world. Uh, it is Dark Knight's Batman Lost issue one. It is five dollars. That is the cover price on it. And it is a, a foil cover. Copier cover. Very awesome. Batman Lost. That is the H book for five dollars. David Brown gets one. Robert is uh, Catcher Line Coyotes for four. Coyotes for four to Robert. Alright, Lissette gets a uh, Lost. Scott Copin for four to Brian. Scott gets a Batman Lost. This is also five. This is Danger Doll Squad issue number two. That's going to be five dollars. That is the iBook. Okay. 
And this is Daredevil. Mayor Fisk, part one. This is the legacy issue of Daredevil. Uh, issue 595. I for five to Jay Collins. Thank you, Jay. I'm going to put out uh, another one of these. This is Danger Doll Squad, issue two, the Mendoza variant. That's going to be $5. That's going to be the iBook. I'm going to put Daredevil out here as the uh, J book. It is four dollars. Daredevil five ninety five. Doing the Wilson Fisk, who I hope, I hope, is in the uh, Punisher. I'm gonna find something for G here. I-5 to uh, Lissette. So I got that one. Thank you, Lissette. Let's see. This is uh, Deadpool Kills Cable. Despicable Deadpool 289. That is going to be the G-Book. And you've got Deadpool and Cable fighting a dinosaur in the front. And this is Danger Doll Squad issue number two, regular cover. I have two of these available. Here they're on light cycles, kind of like in Tron. That's kind of cool. Five bucks. That is the iBook. Take down the A book. That is the Action Comics. The new issue of Action Comics, part of the Oz Effect for three. Hehehe. <laughs> Uh, yeah, Ryan, Slots comes out this week. Um, I think it's a very interesting way to get a Monopoly and have people not complain about it because they're so excited for the one to two movies they could make out of it. They're like, oh, X-Men are going to be in the Marvel Universe. And it's like, yeah, but one company then owns 90% of the movie industry. So, I don't know. I like the idea of getting, them, getting the characters back, but I don't like the idea of anybody being that big of a company. This is Danger Doll Squad issue two. This is a uh, risque variant. We're going to put this out. For just six dollars, that is going to be in the A spot. That's a very good possibility. I, but then again, Disney done zone Miramax, and they did like the crow and stuff, but. Paper six to Jay. Thank you, Jay. No, just the one. Just the one. But I will have some more risque stuff to go up shortly. But Jay got that one. Let's see. This is the new A book. This is Detective Comics. 968, A Lonely Pace of Living. And that is Tim Drake on the front. That is the A-Book. Tim Drake, who's recently back from the uh, the dead. He was captured by Oz. The B-Book here is the Adventure Time regular show for four. I'm going to take that down. And I'm going to put up a brand new number one comic. This is uh, Deuce of Hearts. Deuce of Hearts. It's from Vault. And um, it's got a wraparound cover. It says, Sullivan Husk Life changed the day he was introduced to the Heartbreaker app and the notion that love is just another tradable commodity. 
What started as a Faustian bargain to restore the good health of a dying man has become a collector's habit. But all the upgrades the app has to offer might not be enough to save Sully from this latest upset spouse. Uh, so basically, it's a uh, sell your soul for love type of app. And it's uh, there's all kinds of demons and stuff on the wraparound cover. So uh, I guess everything in the universe uh, is trying to sleep with the guy. It is Deuce of Hearts, issue number one. That is going to be $4. That is the B-book. That's true. They don't own DC. Mm. Ah, come on. Good call from Steve for four. B for four to J. Thank you, J. Set gets one. I've got uh, two. Well, I got two more. I got two more. Also, I kind of feel like all comics should have that type of thing on the back that tells what they're about. That'd be way easier for my life in general. All right, I'm going to take down the uh, C book. I've only got three of these. That is the Archies. And I'm going to put up The Divided States of Hysteria, issue number six. Issue number six. And here is Mount Rushmore. And uh, it's all destroyed, minus this, uh, how should we say, Trump esque uh, sculpture there on the end, being blown up by drones. Uh, that is the C book for $4. Good call. Dang. Jay got it. Thank you, Jay. Take down the D book, which is the Batgirl and the Birds of Prey for four. And I'm going to put out Eugenics or Eugenic issue number two of three. This is a three issue miniseries. We sold number one. It's the awesome one with the kid with the upside down face. Lots of times the faces in this. Lots of people uh, being brutally, brutally murdered in this as well. I flipped it earlier. Six dollars for Eugenic Issue 2. Only have two of those. That is the D-Book. Uh, that was the regular cover, Ryan. She gets a D. All right, those are the two Ds. Eugenic is sold through. One to Jay and one to Lissette. Yeah. No. Are they gone? Maybe somebody could come in and bought it all. I don't know. Yeah, I had no idea. This is Batgirl and the Birds of Prey issue 16. This is the B cover with Harley, Batwoman, and uh, Batgirl on it. That is the D book. Jay Collins got that one. Next up for four, this is Falcon, issue number two, Take Flight. Falcon number two. I've only got two of those available. That is the D-Book. Speaking of big news, you guys hear about Brian Michael Bendis has uh, officially left Marvel and has signed an exclusive contract with DC. Uh, my question is, is, will they just put him on Justice League like you'd expect, or... 
Will they give him some D-list character and have him hype those to the moon? Or give him a C-lister like Aquaman, maybe? Because um, his name recognition will cause the book to sell. So it's like, do you want him to do your main title or something else? I don't know. I'm interested to see. Will I give it to Ryan? Uh, okay. Uh, so, Jay, uh, Ryan Feldman got that last. Can you do Punisher? Uh, no. No. Um, he did uh, Avengers for years, X-Men for years, Spider-Man, Ultimate Spider-Man. Uh, he created Ultimate Spider-Man. Like, he's a big-time dude. Mm. Alias, he basically reset Jessica Jones. Um, all that. All right, let's see what we're going to take down. In the e-spot, this is Birthright, issue 28 for $4. I'm going to take that down. And I'm going to put out Fallen Sons, season one, issue one. It's from Chapter House, which is a pretty cool way to do your comics. Season one, chapter one. And um, I can't show you this, but I'm going to look and see in here. Oh, yeah. Okay. So we got some alien worlds, we got some conquering heroes, the art's super clean. Um, and I'm trying to see if there's any, I don't know, it's very cool looking. Um, and it is $4, Fallen Sons number one for four. That is the ebook. Take down the uh, F book here. This is Centipede, issue four. Over in the close up window. I could see that. I could see that. This is Dark Knight's Metal number one. Exclusive cover edition. Unlike uh, this artwork was used for the Midnight Release edition. This is a different version of that cover. This is a special edition from a, um, I think it's called Altered. Let me see. I'm going to take it out of the bag and board. Show you the back of this thing. Yeah. ComicSketchArt.com variant. Dark Knight Metal number one. This is a first print of it. This is an exclusive cover by them. And this is $30. That is like the suggested retail price for this. It's not like, I'm jacking it up to $30. It's just, we bought this, and it says to sell it for $30 on our invoice. I'm going to take down the Spider-Man vs. Deadpool 23 Legacy variant for 10. Uh, let's see. We're going to put out the Flash. This is the Flash 34. This is the Justice League B cover. That is $3. That is the F book. Megan. Thank you, Megan. I do have one more of those available. We got two of these in. So I've got one more of these for 30 if someone is interested. I'm going to put something else in the close-up spot for now. A3 and F3 to Adam. Adam gets Detective. And... I've only got one. Who got it first? Ryan. Ryan got the medal for 30. 
Sorry, that was the last one of those. Thank you, Ryan. Adam, I got your flash and your detective here. Also, Adam, I don't, I, well, you got it in your pull list, but that is the Batman Lost number one right there. Put some there in the close up window. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Let's do, uh, this is a good one. This is Hack Slash versus Vampirella number two. This is a black and white variant. And there is the uh, the tower in Seattle. And uh, there is Cassie Hack jumping out of it to hit Vampirella with a baseball bat in the face. That is $10. I have, Russell. That I have. The artwork is mighty fine. The story, I didn't read too much about it because I didn't want to destroy it for me. I really wanted to see it all. What's up, Marcus? Thanks for the likes and shares, Raw. All right. I do have two of these available. I have two of these available. Um, I'm going to put these out for $9. I've got two of these. This is Dark Knight Metal Issue 2. First printing. I've got two of them here. Nine bucks a piece. Let me take down the Deadpool for four. And we'll put the metal issue two right there for nine. Again, I only have two of those. Adam Fears gets one for nine. Thank you, Adam. Lissette gets the other one for nine. Thank you, Lissette. Uh, all right, next up. Let me see. I'm going to find a tag with the right number on it. I don't like having to waste all these. Uh... Show you more posts than I have to. This is Force, issue number one from Action Lab, which um, it, it involves a football team. It's very much about the life of a football player, as far as I can tell. It is uh, Force, issue one for G. Metal three, um, not to my knowledge, not to my knowledge. G for four to Lissette. She gets a force issue one. I've only got a four more of those available. Um, hmm, one more swamp thing. I I would rather him do swamp thing <laughs> because it's horror. Uh, you can get it, Barry. Let me grab it for you. $10 to Mr. Barry Lamb. Thank you, sir. You got it, man. I do have uh, two more of these available. The Spider-Man Deadpool for 10 These are the uh, Legacy close-up shots here. All right, I'm going to take down the uh, Batman Lost, number one right now for five.
And I'm going to put out Generation X, issue what, number eight for $4. That is going to be the H book. That it looks like M on there on the front. I'd imagine so. I mean, he mostly does horror. Like, why? Well, I don't want to see him do a Wonder Woman. I mean, I'm sure he can add the horror flavor into it, but yeah. Danger Doll Squad there. No problem, Barry. Thank you, man. Uh, pressing this one. All right. This is Grim Fairy Tales Dance of the Dead, issue number one. That is going to be $4. That's going to be the iBook. Jay gets one for four. Thank you, Jay. We got two of those left. Set gets one for four. Who's going to get that last one? Considering how many people we have asking for Grim normally on the sale, I think we'd already be out of it. Get another tag here. Oh, went the right one. So is everybody's Tuesday going right now? Everybody living it up, living the dream. What's up? Hmm. Biting my nails doesn't uh, add things when I'm trying to open. Post-it notes. There we go. All right. It's going to be $4. This is Ghost Money. Issue number four. Ghost Money number four. That's going to be the J-Book. We'll take down the uh, Daredevil. We'll get that there for J. Beautiful 80-degree day. That's right, you're in Arizona or something, right? All right, up here in A, this is the uh, Batman Detective Comics for $3. I'm going to take that one down. And I'm going to put up Gotham City Garage, issue number three, of course, is what those uh, kind of bombshell-esque statues are made of, with like Harley and the motorcycle and those. Issue three of that, very cool cover here. That's going to be $3. That is going to be the A-Book. Bay Area traffic, nice. A3 to Lissette. Lissette gets a Gotham City Garage. And the B book is Deuce of Hearts, issue number one from Vault. And uh, the artwork very much reminds me of uh, Chew. Uh, if you like Chew from Image, this is very much like that. And I'm going to put up uh, Grass Kings, issue number nine for $4. That's going to be the B book.
what's now put for orders. What is it? B for 40, Jay Collins? Oh, all right. Jay got that issue with Grass Kings. Thank you, Jay. All right, next up for the B slot, we got a pretty popular book, I got to say, for you guys. This is the Unbelievable Gwynpool issue number 22 for $4. That's going to be the B book. Like to share, going to get on my commute home. All right, Eric, we will see you in a bit. Also, Eric, you are in California, and a number of shops aren't getting their books till tomorrow. So, you might want to buy stuff tonight. B for 4 to Jay Collins. Thank you, Jay. Four to Lissette. All right. Here in C, I'm going to take down the uh, divided states of hysteria. And I'm going to put up this. Hack slash Vampirella issue number two. This is the regular cover for four dollars. That is going to be the C book. I have two of these available. Uh, no, no TMT Ghostbusters yet, Brian. I'm actually uh going alphabetical tonight, so uh, it'll all come up as it does. And I do have a reseller incentive cover for that book. Thank you, Jay and Ryan Felden gets the other one. Thank you, Ryan. All right, next up we have Harbinger Renegade issue 0 from Valiant. That is going to be uh it's going to be $4 as well. Yeah. Harbinger Renegades from Valiant. That's going to be 4 bucks. Put it on the wrong side. There we go. That's going to be the C book. Oh, no problem, Brian. No problem. I'm getting on the Falcon issue 2 for 4. And I'm going to put out a number one. This is a brand new number one. It is from uh, Action Lab. This is the Harcourt Legacy. And uh, it appears to be a, I don't know, like an old money family that has stuff to do with the occult and uh, other things. So there you go. I don't know a lot about it beyond that. But hey, it's a number one. You should try it out. The art looks good. This is the Harcourt Legacy. It is $4, and it is the D-Book from Action Lab. There you go. Jay's putting in the, uh, that is the ghost money. For you guys who need to send off some ghost money, it's all there. D-4 to Jay. Thank you, Jay. And the set's getting one. Oh, that's only leaving, uh, looks like we got two left. What is B? George, that is the unbelievable Gwenpool. 22, the new issue comes out tomorrow. This is Fallen Suns Season 1, Number 1, which I think is a cool way to number your books. It is uh, $4. We're going to take that down for now. B for four to George. Thank you, George. That's your issue of Gwynpool. And out here in E, this is Harley Quinn issue number 31. It's part of the Vote 
Harley storyline. This is the Amanda Connor cover. There you have Harley sitting next to a beaver who's getting, uh, well, he's undead, so I guess it doesn't really matter if he's getting drunk on champagne or not. But it is uh, $3 So that issue of Harley Quinn. That is the ebook. E3 to Jay. I got you one right here, Jay. Set gets one right here as well. That's what we have out here for F. And it won't be the Jay Collins show. If you guys buy a bunch of books, then it'll be your whatever show your name is. This is uh, The Flash, issue 34. That is the B cover for $3, the Justice League cover. This is Harrow County, issue 27. Awesome horror comic from a dark horse by uh, Colin Bunn and Tyler Crook. Great creative team. $4. That is the F book. Tyler Bunn, of course, creator of one of my favorite comics of all time, Six Gun. He knows his horror and, uh, and his action, really. And Tyler Crook, of course, did a lot of BPRD books. F4 to Jay. Thank you, Jay. Got a couple more copies of Harrow County there. All right, Lissette gets one for four. Who is going to get the last issue of Harrow County? Somebody should. I've already got one myself put away, so it's all yours, people. D4 to Robert. D4 to Robert. Thank you, Robert. A lot of times it just depends what the... Uh, and I haven't put the B cover out yet, but sometimes it just depends on what happens in a particular issue. I for 4 to Robert. There we go. Thank you, Robert. Robert got that Dance of the Dead. I'm going to keep that spot right there for some more Dance of the Dead action. This is uh, Dance of the Dead. Let me see. I'm going to find the uh, B cover here. Uh, here we go. Grim Fairy Tales Dance of the Dead cover B. This is the iBook. I've only got two of these available. Here they are back to back taking on some, uh, I'm assuming, zombies. It is $4. That is the iBook. Uh, I is Grim Fairy Tales Dance of the Dead. It is a uh, number one. So, and we sell a lot of Grim Fairy Tales on here. E for three to Jessica. How's it going, Jessica? Oh, actually, I got you a Harley Quinn right here. I for four to Lisette. Thank you, Lisette. I for four to George. George gets the other one. Thank you. Uh, yeah, Robert. A is Gotham City Garage, issue number three. That is Harley Quinn on the front. She's got her two pet hyenas and a bloody hammer. And behind her is the Batman from that universe. That is the A book for $3. Uh, yes, I didn't put the uh, B cover out yet, but I can grab you one. This is uh, Grim Fairy Tales Dance of the Dead number one. That is $4. This is the uh, C cover. This is the main character kind of looking back. She's walking into a swamp, but she, I guess she cares about leeches. It's whatever. A for three to George. Thank you, George. Got one more of the uh, A book left, the Gotham City Garage. I'm going to take down Force. Force issue number one. Pull a football action out here for $4.
And I'm going to put out Hellboy and the BPRD 1955 issue number three. That is $4. That is going to be the G-Book. I4 again to Lissette. She gets that cover this time. I've got one more of that C cover available. Whoever wants to claim it. Here in the H spot is the Generation X. Let's take that down for now. This is Iron Maiden, Legacy of the Beast from Heavy Metal Comics. That is $4 for that Iron Maiden number one. That is the H-Book. I got a lot, man. I'll be putting them out as the night progresses. Hang tight. H for four to Lissette. Thank you, Lissette. This is another one. This is Iron Maiden Legacy of the Beast. This is the B cover. And uh, there's Eddie crawling his way across the ground. Some woman sorceress behind him. Issue one of five, Heavy Metal Comics. Iron Maiden, Legacy of the Beast, number one. That is the H-Book. All right, I'm going to take down this hack and slash issue two, black and white for ten. And I'm going to put out Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Ghostbusters 2, retailer incentive cover. And that is Venkman and Raphael in the Ecto-1. It is $10. Let me put it here in the close-up window. All right, Ryan got that one for 10 Thank you, Ryan. No, that was the only one I had. Only one I had. I do have more of the regular copy coming up. This is uh, Star Wars issue 38. This is a variant edition with Luke on top of uh, this thing. It is uh, seven dollars. That glare. There we go. There you can pretty much see it. What's up, Kayla? How is it going? All right, looks like it's all of that cover we're going to sell on that Dance of the Dead. I'm going to put out the last Grim Fairy Tales Dance of the Dead number one cover I have. This is the Tarot cover and uh, the Seven of Cups. And it looks like a tarot card, Austin painted cover here. $4, I got two of those. That is the Grim Fairy Tales Day of the Dead number one. Star Wars for seven to Lissette. All right, I got one right here for you, Lissette. I for four to J. I got one more of those. George got the other one. Again, if you want a Grim Fairy Tales Dance with Dead, I do still have this cover available. All right, Kayla. All right, next up in the I spot. Let's see where this over here is. Right? 
All right. I've got uh, two of these. Return of the Purple Man, who you guys saw all over Netflix. This is Jessica Jones by Brian Michael Bendis. Probably one of the last things he wrote for the company. Uh, Jessica Jones, issue 14 for $4. I'd say he probably, uh, probably knocked out a few issues ahead of time. So, uh, the TMT is apparently weekly, Ryan. Uh, issue one came out last week and issue two came out this week. So if that holds true, it's going to be every week till it's over, which I feel like is too quick for a miniseries whenever it's that big, like TMNT Ghostbusters, but mm, it's whatever. It's whatever. I forwarded Jay Collins. Jay gets one. A three to Adam. All right. Adam. Boom. Gets the last of the Gotham city garage. I like it. Thank you, sir. She shows a new list. I put in everything. Some of the stuff we sell out of, we don't need anything. Some things we do. Okay. Okay. I'll make sure to put it all down there on the floor. All right. This is Justice League of America issue 18, and this is Prometheus. He's taking down the entire Justice League. That is going to be $3. I'm going to put that up here in the A spot. Down here for J. This is Ghost Money issue 4 for $4. I'm going to take that down. And we are going to put out Kid Lobotomy issue number 2. From IDW. And it's going to be $4. $4 for Kid Lobotomy. Only got two of those available. That is the new J book. J to George. I got one left for you guys who bought Kid Lobotomy. I think it was last week. You guys are probably going to want that. There we go. I like it. Thank you, Jay. All right. Here we go. This is a cool one, and I think you guys are going to want this. Um, this is Kong on the Planet of the Apes. I'm not a big Planet of the Apes guy or a big King Kong guy. But I'm going to tell you right now, the art in this is so good that, like, I'm still tempted to get one. So uh, if you like either of these characters at all, you're going to be down for this. Kong on the Planet of the Apes, issue one for $4. That is the J book. I don't even know who the artist is. It's some new guy. But he draws just exceptional. Exceptional. Reminds me of uh, Steve McNiven, who did Civil War. J for four to Ryan. And those are those two. Now, I do have some more covers coming up, but those are the two of that one I've got. All right, this is Misbegotten. Runaway Nun. This is issue number two from Action Lab. And uh, there's a nun. It looks like Marilyn Monroe with uh, Gandhi getting a blood transfusion. Um, it's four bucks. We sold, one. We sold completely out instantly. Yeah. Instantly. That is the J book. It takes place after the 68 movie. That's cool. Yeah, you got one, George. J for four to J Collins. Thank you, J. Lissette gets one. Thank you, Lissette. Got three more of those available. All right, 
right, we're going to go back a little bit. We're going to go back to the D's for a minute. I'm going to put these out. This is Deadpool, issue 289. This is the B cover variant. This is the uh, like the secret comic variant they've done for what well, seems like years now in Deadpool. I'm assuming at now you've had over a 28-page book at this point. But uh, these are all the secret uh, comic cover. It is $4 for this one. Put it up here in the Gwen's full spot at B. There we go. I didn't have the B cover out earlier. B to uh, Barry. B to Jessica and George. I got your three right here. Yeah, I put out the A. <laughs> and then eventually eventually they'll see the A cover again too again as we go I think all together there were 70 76 books <laughs> well <laughs> that, that, that's probably close probably close I think there were 76 titles all together today I think that's a good bunch of them yeah 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 it's a good variety it's a good variety mm -mm. alright what well, we got up here for C this is the Harbinger. Oh, number ones. Number ones. Number zero? All right, number zero. Yeah. Right? How do you spell Harbinger zero? Huh? Oh, my bad. All right, this is um, Mr. Miracle, issue number four. That is Big Barda on the front. Is uh, his burly warrior wife. And uh, there you go. This thing has proven, this has proven like extremely like pop culture popular. Like it's one of those that like Facebook, all the comic book sites, they're singing the praises of Mr. Miracle. Give it a shot if you haven't yet. It's only issue four. That is the C book. Uh, that is Deadpool's B cover. The secret, they have a, the B cover on Deadpool are all comic strips. And if you buy each issue's B cover, you can read a comic that just takes place on the covers. Which I guess works for that character probably perfectly, I assume. <laughs> they involve, they involve the, uh, the UPC code quite often in them. Oh, this is one. This one's going to be a sellout, and it's going to be a good one. This is Moon Knight. This is issue 188 of Moon Knight. This is the new legacy issue of Moon Knight, and it is drawn by Jason Burroughs. Jason Burroughs, who drew Crossed. And if you know what Crossed is, you know it is full of some of the most messed up visuals you've ever seen. Well, he's bringing that clean yet super bloody style to Moon Knight in this. I flipped through three pages and had to have one put back in my pull box. I'm probably going to add it to my pull list if he stays the artist. It is Moon Knight. It is issue 188. It is $4. That is going to be the D book. No. We'll be putting those out all. The action are actually going out as uh, – in the variant spots. I've just not put them out yet. The other two, we are going primarily in alphabetical order, so we are coming up to those. This is the Harcourt Legacy number one. I have one left of these. I'm going to take this down for four. Uh, I think that's all I got. Oh, gone. Raymond and Lissette. You guys, I think this is going to be the book that you guys are going to be like, wow, I'm glad I bought that.
that one, yeah. I'd say probably one or so. Like I say, I don't know if he's going to stay the artist for a long time. All right. Okay, so we got D book right here. Let's see what we got. Uh, whoa, what was that? That was uh, Mr. Miracle picking up Mr. Zombie. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. All right, this is Miss Marvel issue 24 for $4. Miss Marvel issue 4, or issue 24 for 4, the legacy book. There we go. We've only got a few of those available. Here we go. This is My Little Pony, issue number 60. That is going to be $4. That is going to be in the e-spot right now. My Little Pony for just 4 bucks in the Harley Quinn, issue 31. Any more of the Moon Knight? No, Raw, that was it, brother. We will be getting more in, though. We'll get another copy in. We'll be sure to hook you up. That is, we are sold out of that. All right, right here in the F spot for four. That's Harrow County. I'm going to take that down. This is Harley Quinn, issue 31. This is the B cover by Frank Cho. This awesome, like classic America vote Harley. Here she is on a horse um, in a Confederate, well, not Confederate, a um, revolutionary uniform with the uh, New York flag here. Harley Quinn B cover for $3. That is the F book. All right. Jay gets one. Jessica gets one. Thank you, Jessica. Lissette gets one of these. Thank you, Lissette. Robert gets one. Oh, yeah. That should be. Should be back. Oh, well, I was rushing to get going. I didn't. I had to make sure to put the stuff on the card. I forgot to tell them the graphic novels. Uh, Christopher Morrison. Did you already claim call him? Yeah. All right. Christopher Morrison gets one. Thank you, Christopher. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it was the drowning. Oh, gotcha. Two Dawn Breakers. Well, two Dawn Breakers. That's better than none. It's better than none. In the close-up window, what you see right there, that is the uh, Ecto-Mobile book. That is the uh, guide, much like you would get for any car. Any car manual, that is the manual for the Ecto-1. And uh, it is a hardcover, very nice. And it is only $29. We got those in today. I only have a few of those. Okay. <laughs> Hellboy, nobody picking up the issue of Hellboy. Hellboy and V Party, 1955, issue three for four. I'm going to take that down. Uh, I've got the B cover out there right now, I think, right? Do I? Yep, I got the B cover out there at the moment. This is New Superman, issue 17, Clash with the Justice League. That is going to be $4. That is the G-Book. I'm going to take on the Iron Maiden B cover. Okay. 
Lord for this. I get to be a just double checking it. Also, we didn't even check chat messages and uh, This is Iron Maiden, Legacy of the Beast. This is the C cover, where you got Eddie taking on the devil. That is $4. That is the H book. Uh, everything, Clara. Every single thing. Every single book is worth buying and reading, if you ask me. Every single last one. All right, this is a new number one from Image Comics and Top Cow. This is Port of Earth, and it is by Zach Kaplan. It takes place in a future where uh, basically Earth becomes a port city in the galaxy. So uh, basically everything is like most Isley Cantina. It is $4 for Port of Earth, issue number one, and that is going to be the iBook now. We're going to take down the Jessica Jones and put that out for four. I for four to George. George got, George got excited on that one. I think. <laughs> Thank you, George. I for four to Lisette. Thank you, Lisette. Ah, uh, for four to Christopher Morris. Morrison. Thank you, Christopher. And we've only got uh, two more of the Port of Earth available there. Still may move a few. Cool looking book. Misbegotten, Runaway Nun, Issue 2. I'm going to pull that down for the time being. Runaway Nun. She's on the loose. Well, I think what the story is, is that uh, it's like a future where the church has constructed an android messiah baby. And she kidnaps it and takes off. I think is the storyline for it. I think. So not bad. This is Ragman issue number two. For those guys who are interested, I did do a review of Ragman number one on MaddoxComics.com. I think it is awesome. I'm going to read this. I think you should read this too. Ragman issue two to destroy the suit of souls. Uh, they've really uh, kind of spawned up Ragman here. It's pretty cool. Three bucks for Ragman issue two from DC. That is the J book. George gets one. Thank you, George. Dark Knight Metal's getting a soundtrack. That is wild and awesome. That is awesome. Hopefully it'll be one of those things that they don't sell me that they just put on Spotify and I can listen to. <laughs> J for three to Robert. Thank you, Robert. That's right, I did, Jay. I'm going to make you buy this one. And I'm going to make you buy issue three when it comes out. So just get ready. Loosen those purse strings. J for three to Russell. I wonder if you told somebody five years ago that we're going to sell Ragman comics on the regular. Who would believe you? That's what I'm saying with them getting Brian Michael Bendis. It really, they could give him somebody like that for DC and he would make it sell like crazy. Or they could just give him the Justice League. One of the two. It's going to happen. Or both. He's written multiple books at one time before. 
I don't really like it when he does that, but he does do it. Hit or miss. There's been times. Ultimate Spider-Man. Times I've not. Avengers and X-Men. I mean, well, Avengers, when he broke them up um, with the disassembled and then brought them back with the new Avengers with the raft escape and all that, but that was really cool, where they uh, century tore Carnage apart in space and all that. That was pretty neat. Uh, but then after a while, you know, it gets a little too jokey. I think it's a, it's a great movie. Awesome. Yeah. Well, it's kind of like Jeff Johns. It's like, I wouldn't be opposed if they were like, oh, Jeff Johns went to Marvel. I'd be like, cool. Good for DC. Like, because w when a guy's on, you only need a writer working on the same characters for so long. That's, that's all you need. That's all you need. Yeah, when he writes that many books, Russ, it, it yeah, it doesn't, it doesn't work out well. I, I think he needs to concentrate on one thing at a time. This is Runaways issue number three. Runaways is going to be on Hulu as a TV show. This is issue number three. You can hop on early. Four bucks. That is going to be the new A book. I'm going to put up the Justice League of America with Prometheus. Prometheus, Prometheus who is a villain that I created by Grant Morrison in his JLA run. He's the guy who uh, Green Arrow murdered. A4 to J. Thank you, J. Green Arrow killed one man. In the uh, like a regular DCU at the time, and that was Prometheus. Yeah, that was Hawkeye. Oh. <laughs> kind of the same thing. Kind of the same thing. Any metal tines this week? Maybe. 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 <laughs> Bet I wouldn't say that about Kirkman. You'd be, su you'd be surprised. You'd be surprised. As my favorite Kirkman book is not The Walking Dead. And he's ending my favorite Kirkman book. So once he's done with Invincible, he can do whatever he wants. <laughs> Ryan Otley is the one I'm wondering about. He's been drawing Invincible for a hundred and something issues. Will he stay at Image and do something with Kirkman and do like his own creative book? Or I actually, he's one of the few guys I hope would go to one of the big two just because I want to see him draw those guys. So uh, I'd love to see him on Batman, Spider-Man, really anybody. He can do super violence, he can do dark, he can do regular. And he can do two books a month if he wants. So it's not like he's going to be behind schedule. They did uh, Invincible, he did Invincible and Haunt at the same time. Man, I'm telling you what, man, back when I was a kid, it was dark. Six books a month. <laughs> Six books a month. Redlands, we do have, uh, well, let me see. It's coming up. It's coming up. It's back. That's a couple of these hard works, so. Yes, indeed. It's coming up shortly. <laughs> Did they call him Chinese Superman? It said for a while. That's why I was so listening. It said there's a dinosaur. <laughs> uh, yeah, some of the R's were a little, a little backwards. It looks like this is uh, Red Hood and the Outlaws issue 16. That is Harley Quinn on the cover, saying hi, you dolls. Welcome to the Funhouse. That's right. Red Hood, Artemis, and Bizarro have been taken into custody by Amanda Waller. And you're going to be forced to join the Suicide Squad. Red Hood and the Outlaws, that is four bucks. If you're a fan of any of that, you're going to want this book. Ecto for 29 to Ryan. Thank you, Ryan. Okay. We're going to get one of those for you here. We got a few. B for four to Lissette. Thank you, Lissette.
And it isn't just a cover gimmick. They are uh, they are there in that book. B for four to roll. Thank you, sir. Another Red Hood and the Outlaws coming your way. Raymond gets one. I got you one right here, Raymond. Thank you. And that is for uh, Ryan Feldman. Feldman, he got his Ghostbusters book. Uh, sort of. Sort of. I mean, it could all be secretly calculated to seem like I'm unaware of what's going on in my life, but it could go either way, really. Uh, I'm saying I'm Mr. Miracle for four. And I'm going to put out Redlands issue number four. That's a dead bird trapped in a spider web on the cover there. That's pretty sweet. That is the C book. So it was uh, Jay, George, and Lissette. I'll get Redland so far. Redland's another comic I've reviewed on the Maddox Comics webpage. Nope, not yet. Not yet. Lens. All right. I'm going to take down the Miss Marvel. Man, I've been pretty stoked about that series. Overall, it is a pretty cool, uh, pretty cool book, man. All right, uh, let's see. I've got three of these available. What's up, Marcus? What is H? Uh, Ryan, that is Iron Maiden Legacy of the Beast number one, the C cover. That is four dollars. This is a variant I'm going to be putting up here. Let's see. In the D spot, it's going to be a variant. This is Kong on the Planet of the Apes issue one. This is the uh, kind of virgin art type connecting cover. So if you get all the issues, the covers do connect. It's pretty cool. Uh, it is $7. We're going to put that out here in the D spot. Hey, Morgan. Pretty good. How are you? All right. This is My Little Pony, issue 60 for four. Trying to find a cover price on this. <laughs> oh, image. Oh, four dollars. Okay. <laughs> it's like they purposely hide the prices. All right. Let's 
Four thirty in the morning for an exam. Ugh, that sounds horrible. Royal City issue seven is four dollars. That is from Jeff Lemire. Rivers of London. I do have Rivers of London coming up. See, down here in the F spot, I'm going to take down the Harley Quinn. This is the B cover for Harley Quinn. Put this away real quick. I don't. Didn't get lost. There we go. E4 to Christopher. Thank you, Christopher. I got one more of the Royal City available. Oh, it's fine. Yeah, I got it, Marcus. This is uh, Rivers of London, issue number one. Cry Fox. That's $4. That is the F book. For G, the new Superman for four. I'm going to take that one down. J. Collins gets one of the uh, Rivers of London. Cry Wolf, issue one. And Lissette gets the other one for four. Thank you, Lissette. Let's see, there's that one. So I'm going to grab, here we go. This is a cool one. This is one I think you guys are going to like, fantasy fans. This is Scales and Scoundrels, issue three from Image. They did not send us number two. We do have number two coming back in, and uh, I think we'll probably have it in the next week or so, I'd imagine. Uh, so that is issue three. So if you have a good issue one, you want to go ahead and get that issue three right now before it sells through. All right. Four again to Jay. I got one more of that. That was the Rivers of London. We ran out of that. This is Scooby Doo Apocalypse issue number nineteen. For four dollars, issue nineteen for four Scooby Doo Apocalypse, and that is uh, Daphne and, well, maybe Daphne knows to know. Tough to say. Four dollars. That is the G book, Scooby Doo Apocalypse. Here for H, this is the Iron Maiden C cover for four. You can, Megan. Get me one right now. Megan, G for four to Ryan. Thank you, Ryan. Take on the Iron Maiden. All right, George, get you a Batman Lost right here for five as well. We had this up earlier in the show. We'll be putting it back out in a bit. Got you one there. All right, next up, this is Royals. Royals, which, of course, is the Inhumans book. Fire from Heaven. This is the Legacy Issue number 10. Royals number 10. That is the H book for $4. I is the Port of Earth Issue 1 from Image. It is a number one from Image. Which if you see books like Redneck and stuff, you know, that can be a bonus to have. 
is issue number one. If you like space, if you like any of that type of stuff, futuristic tales, this is the one for you. Four dollars for Court of Earth. All right, Lena. Um, all you got to do uh, is put G4 in the feed, and we will pull a book for you. You don't pay for it till tomorrow. Uh, you actually call the store tomorrow or a private message with your PayPal address. We get you all hooked up. There's actually a pinned comment at the top uh, of this comment feed that gives all the info. And if you have any questions, other questions, feel free to ask them. And I'll try to help you out. Glad to have you on the feed. Glad to have you buying stuff on the feed. Issue of what book was? Um, this is Royals issue ten for four. Oh, uh, that is Port of Earth number one from Image, is what that was for four dollars. It's basically what would happen in a futuristic time if uh, basically aliens decide to come to Earth and uh, use us kind of as a port city. So basically everything. Looks like uh, Mos Eisley Cantina on Earth. It's pretty cool. This is Star Wars issue 38. That is Luke Skywalker on the front, wrapped in robes. He got his lightsaber popped. You got a number of TIE fighters flying in here on him. That is $4. That issue of Star Wars. That is the iBook. I afforded Jay. Thank you, Jay. And this is a pre-sale, so anything you buy has to be paid for tomorrow. We can't have you pay for it today simply because we're not allowed to sell it to you today. Lissette gets a Star Wars. Thank you, Lissette. This is Ragman, Ragman issue number two for three dollars. And I'm going to put up Fishy Friends Forever. That's right. This is SpongeBob Comics. Issue 74, and there's Spongebob and Patrick um, hugging Squidward a lot. It is $4, that issue of uh, Spongebob. If you buy comics, you like Spongebob, buy the comic. If you got no kids who like Spongebob, buy them a book. Uh, nothing like passing on comics to kids, and that is a good gateway uh, comic to get them into uh, regular books. Brian Kenny wants to Port Earth number one for four. All right, let me see if I can find you one real quick here. There you go. Brian, here's your Port of Earth issue. Thank you, sir. Uh, you're probably leaving at the wrong time. I'm going to take down the uh, Runaways, issue number three for $4. All right, this one is, well, for five, $5 for this one. A little pricier cover on this one, but it is an oversized book. It's not too bad. This is Sherlock, The Great Game, issue number four from Titan. Two issues, $5. That is the A book. Five. There's one issue of Sherlock left. What's up, Tony? How's it going, man? 
I'm going to take down this issue of Red Hood and the Outlaws. And I'm going to follow that up with an issue of Red Hood and the Outlaws. This is the B cover of issue 16. And here is Harley. Welcome to Belle Reeve. And she's got the uh, Jason Todd, Artemis, and Bizarro orange prison uniforms. And she has all their gear in the plastic slots. Oh, prison. How I remember those days. It is uh, Red Hood and the Outlaws issue 16 B cover for $4. That is the B book. Not bad, not bad, man. Pre-selling some comics to come out tomorrow. Give people a chance to, to hold these books and make sure they get the things they're after. B for four to Lisette. Thank you, Lisette. It's a really cool cover. I don't think Gilliam March did this cover. I'm sure he did the cover, though, but it's really nice artwork. Yeah, it is Gilliam March, yep. We did the uh, Talon series for DC. Let's see here. I dig it. A5 and B4 to Albert. Albert gets that Sherlock, and he gets a B cover of the Red Hood and the Outlaws. I like it. How are you tonight, Albert? How are things going? All right, in the A spot, I'm going to put out a book that came out last week and sold out. It is a Dark Knight Metal tie-in. It is The Flash, issue 33, Bats Out of Hell, part one. This starts off the series where the Justice League are taking on the evil Batman, and Flash takes on the Red Death in this. Pretty awesome stuff. The artwork is insanely good. This is the um, B cover from that issue, but it is a first print. This is The Flash, 33. That's going to be the A book for $3. If you've not got it yet, or if you've not been buying the uh, tie-ins for Dark Knight Metal, I'm just going to tell you, it's a really good issue. Yeah, it's same, same issue, but the B cover. Russell is correct on that. Oh, sorry, at 4 a.m. Wow, nice. Kristen got one. Todd got one. Albert got one. Russell gets one. Rawl gets B for four. And Christopher Morrison gets A for three. And that leaves me one left. One of that flash left. Almost out of that flash again. How's your time, guys? Awesome. Thank you, guys. I like it when he goes like that. Just boom, 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 boom. I dig it. All right. Brian gets I for four. Thank you, Brian. This is a good call on that Star Wars. Help out Andrew a little bit. Let's see if I got one here. All right. I like it. I like it. Let's see what we got. All right. I got another number one. I got a number one that sold out for us. I'm going to find him here. This is a, a B cover of that number one. Ah, here we go. I got it right here. They have, man. The Gotham one was great. This Bats Out of Hell thing has been good. Like, all the... Ma 
it's crazy how good the metal event in general is. It, it blows my mind that they're actually succeeding in doing all this correctly. Um, all right, let's see. All right, make four dollar tag here. Uh, last month, slots number one came out, sold out. Awesome comic about a degenerate gambler on his last run. This is slots issue one, second printing, second show added. Honestly, kind of the coolest B cover I've seen in a long time. This is $4. It is a second printing of number one. I only have two of these available. That is going to be the C book for 4 bucks, And the Red Lands here for 4 That's a rocket. The cover there. See? Got to the close up on it? Uh, not yet. I haven't. I, I got to go show. I show it to the camera normally. I haven't done it yet. C for four to George. I got one more slots, number one. If you didn't get on this, you should get on that. Who? Lissette got it. Awesome. George and Lissette, you aren't going to regret buying those. And since slots number one sold out, I'm going to put out number two. I know a lot of people wanted it because it's awesome. Next time I put out number ones, first printings, you should probably buy them. <laughs> H for four to Todd. Thank you, Todd. Todd got one of the issues of Royals. All right. In the C spot right now, this is Slots, issue number two, Skybound comic. Awesome, awesome comic for four bucks. Take one of these. Yep. There we go. It is great, man. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's one of those books I wish we could show them the interior artwork on. Oh, it's great, isn't it? His, his, his works is perfect for like that type of – it's just – it's about a gambler. It's just perfect. It's perfect. Let me show the interior art here real quick. Just as much as they can show you. Just see what it's all about. George got one. Jay got one. Lissette. Mm -mm, uh -uh. Hang on. Okay. I got, I got George, Jay, Lissette, David Brown. All right. I'll let mine go too. You let your go too? All right. Raymond, you getting Marcus's copy. That is all of those bad boys. Damn. We will get more. We will order more in. Uh, Ryan, you will get one. Just not tonight. Just not tonight. I know, right, Russell? Just psh, explode. Explode. It's an awesome book. All right. Uh, I'm going to show this lenticular book. Marcus reminded me that we had these here, and I would like to sell these to you, and I think you guys are going to buy these. This is Spider-Man Deadpool. Issue 23, and it mimics The Amazing Spider-Man 34, or the other way around. I can't tell for the lenticular, but it's awesome. I'm going to show it to you real close real quick. And while that C slot is hot, I'm going to put this up in it. This is, uh, I don't know how that sounded. This is the Spider-Man Deadpool Lenticular. It is $8. That is the C book. Uh, we need to reorder slots. We need to reorder um, Hal Jordan Green Lantern 32. The A cover, C8 to Barry. Uh, let's see. All right, Barry gets one. Todd Ipot gets one. Sadly, Ryan, you did miss slots. But like I say, Marcus is ordering more. We will have them in. Christopher Morrison gets one. And Brian Kenny gets one for eight. Anybody else wants a lenticular? Now is your time to get it. This being a Spider-Man Deadpool, this will not be around. Yeah, we need to... Uh, okay, 
Sloth tissue two. Um, Hal Jordan and the Green Lantern Corps. Number thirty two. A cover. Yep. Rivers of London. Cry Wolf, number one. We've got it in our, we're sending you a comment, hang on, we've got everything in one. Coyote's number one is from Image. It's whatever. It's, um, it's Spider-Man, Deadpool, whatever Spider-Man, Deadpool. We, we haven't put one out yet. Hang on. Uh, what is it? It's Spider-Man, Deadpool, 23. Yep. All right. All right. Yep, there you go. That should uh, be most of it. That Cody's number one. It's cool image number one. All right. I'm putting them in the close-up spot real quick. All right. This is Spider-Man Deadpool issue 23. This is the variant cover edition. And uh, Spider-Man is shooting his webs. He's got uh, Deadpool all hemmed up. He's shooting guns at Spider-Man, as they do. Spider-Man Deadpool 23 variant. This one is $20. I'm going to put this in the close-up window. It isn't lenticular. It's just rare. No. No redneck today. Now, I do have a redneck variant, Jay. Redneck issue six. Red signature variant for only $35. I do have that. But uh, issue seven has not come out yet. Uh, 1122. Yeah, I think that's the same week that uh, Doomsday Clock comes out as well. <laughs> yeah, Metal. I don't know when Metal 4 comes out. I think next week would probably be Batman the Man Who Laughs. So he's the last, uh, the last of the Dark Batman to need to be uh, need to be shown off. All right, we're up here for seven. This is the uh, Kong on the Planet of the Apes. I'm going to take that down. And I'm going to put up Suicide Squad issue 29. That is the Tony Daniel cover. You got Harley, uh, Killer Croc, and um, Captain Boomerang taking on a bunch of monsters here. It is $3. That is going to be the D-Book. There we go. So the metal will probably be uh, a week or so after that, I would think. D to Lissette. Lissette gets a Suicide Squad. Are the medals like one shots? Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like the Men Who Laughs, it it basically just gives you a background for the individual evil Batman. Uh, 
This is the Batman Lost for $5. It's a one-shot as well, and it talks about what's going on with Batman as he's the gateway. Um, you know, they tie in in the way that if you just read Dark Knight Metal, you don't have to read those, but if you read them, you get the bigger story overall. All right, we have the lenticulars up here for eight. I'm going to take that down. And in that spot, I'm going to put another Spider-Man Deadpool. This is Spider-Man Deadpool issue 23, Arms Race. Part one is part of Marvel Legacy. And that is a Deadpool on like a robotic shark chasing uh, Spider-Man who's swimming along. That is going to be uh, $4 for the C-book, which is Spider-Man Deadpool. Uh, I've got Dark Knight Metal right here. This is Dark Knight's Batman Lost Metal tie-in. Uh, one shot. It is $5. Uh, that's all that came out this week for Metal. Uh, the other Metal, actually, it seems like we may be sold through. Uh, Chris was asking me earlier if I brought a bunch of Metal back here to put on the sale, and I have not. So I think we just sold through a lot of our Metal, uh, our metal stuff. But Batman himself, uh, the one-shots... Um, Devastator came in last week. We had about 19 damaged, um, on those, but we had Dawnbreaker and a few others. Um, I'm not sure what we have all available right now. This is generally just the new pre-sale right now. Um, but if I got time later on, I can see about, uh, getting some of that stuff back here. So, what do we have down here? There we go. F is Scales and Scoundrels, issue three. Uh, TMNT hasn't come up yet. TMNT hasn't come up yet. We are in the S's currently. This is Supergirl issue 15. Supergirl issue 15, Plain Sight, part one. It is $4. See something, say something. And there she is looking fairly angry. That is $4. That is your Supergirl. That is the F book. we take down the Scooby-Doo Apocalypse report. C for four to Maddie. Thank you. Maddie gets a Spider-Man Deadpool. D for three. Hack slash Vampirella? Yeah, George. Um, sweet. This is Hack slash versus Vampirella. Issue number two. Black and white. That is $10. $10 for that black and white variant. We'll put that right there. As the G book for a little bit.
here. H. H is Royals. We're going to take that down. We're going to put out Superwoman issue 16, Power Failure. There she is getting blown off the uh, Daily Planet Globe. That is the H book for four. Put Royals up here. Star Wars for four. All right, B for four to Maddie. Just a sec. All right, B for four goes to Maddie. Thank you, Maddie. Maddie got that Red Hood and the Outlaws issue. Uh, actually, it'll go till 10, and then we'll have to, uh, I think it makes us take like a 10-minute break between feeds on four-hour feeds, and then uh, we'll come back until 11 after. So yeah, basically it'll last till 11 with a small little interval there in between. We just put down a Star Wars book. We're going to put this one up. This is Star Wars, issue 38. This is the 40th anniversary variant. Um, cover with Luke and his pal, Biggs Darklighter. That is going to be $5. We're going to put that there in the B spot. It did, it did, Jay. It certainly did. I only have one of these. This is Supergirl, issue 15. This is the B cover. This is the Art Germ variant for four dollars. That's going to be the, excuse me, the I book. B for five to J. Thank you, J. B for five to Lisette. You did. I for four to Adam. Adam got that one. That was only one of those I had. Mm -hmm. uh, Tyler just missed it. Ooh, Brian missed it too. I do have Supergirl 15 right over here for $4. We got Suicide Squad up there. We also have Suicide Squad right here in the eye spot. This is Suicide Squad issue 29. That is Katana and Killer Croc in space, slicing up skeletons. That is a Will Spertatio cover. That is $3 for the eye book. Um, I for three to Maddie. Thank you, Maddie. Bang boy for you. Go. All right. This is uh, Titans issue 17 for $4. Titans 17 for four. It can't be. We were best friends. The traitor revealed. Jay, no SpongeBob people tonight. What? Whatever. Whatever.
Here we go. This is a big one for tonight for you guys, I think. Nope. We are out, George. We are out. We have it on the list to be reordered there. We ran out actually uh, in the pool list, so it's on the actual note that we've got on Marx's computer there. J for four to Clara. Clara got that issue of Titans. Thank you, Clara. I've got two of these issues of Titans available. This is the B cover, and, well, I guess it kind of reveals the trader on the cover. <laughs> Teen Wonder Girl. That is uh, $4. Yeah. It's not, it's not, it's not a best-kept secret by them, I guess. They're just giving it away on the B cover. This is TMNT Ghostbusters 2 cover A. That has Egon and Donatello on the front. It is $4. That is going to be the A book. You can take down the uh, Flash 33, which is the Dark Knight Metal tie-in issue we sold out of last week. Got one of these left. Ryan and Brian both get them. And George gets one. All right, that leaves one of the A cover left. Who is looking to grab it? All right, up here in B. This is the Star Wars 38. I'm going to take that down. And I am going to put out this issue of Iron Fist. This sold out a few weeks ago when it came out. It is the uh, Legacy issue of Iron Fist number 73. This is a second printing cover of that. He's taking on Sabretooth in it. We are going to put it out for just $4. Hmm. Mm -mm. Not of the way. They will tomorrow. Those are awesome. They are. They're really good. Wow. Really good. Yeah, I don't think we have any... We don't have any previous Marvel Lenticulars. We've sold out of all of them so far to date. Like, they sold really well for us. So, I'd say between today and tomorrow, those will, those will be gone. Speaking of variants, I'm going to put another variant up here on the board, though. Let's see what we got here. Ah, Daredevil. I see you looking at me. Begging, begging to be sold. We're going to put them out here for $10. This is the Daredevil Legacy variant with the big old face on it. Ten bucks for that one. I got one of those. So if you'd like it, claim it. Don't wait. And this, I'm going to show you guys up close to the screen. This is Action Comics 991 lenticular cover. Let me show it to you real quick. Nice dig it. It is good. It is good. I think it helps that the. Th I think it helps that the, it's good that the thrill of the hunt and stuff stays the same. Yeah. I think on some of those where they had too much of it change, it was just crazy. This is a Superman busting out of the Kryptonite chains while Jarrell looks on with his one eye. Uh, it is uh, issue nine ninety one. And just like the Marvel Lenticulars, I'm going to put this out for eight dollars. It is the Action Comics Lenticular. We're going to put it right up here in the C spot in the Spider Man Deadpool. Eight bucks for the Action Comics Lenticular cover. Who's up? Yeah, it's very cool. It's very cool. C8 to Russell. Russell gets one. Thank you, Russell. Lissette gets one. Thank you, Lissette. I have very few of these. I have less of these than we do the Marvel, so we are already almost out. So you're going to claim one of those while you can. It is the Oz Effect Part 5 from Action Comics. Let's see. And 
We're down to one copy of this A book for four. I'm going to take that down, and I'm going to put up the B cover for $4. Oh, David Brown. Eight. David Brown gets one for eight. Thank you, David. I'm almost out of those. TMNT Ghostbusters 2, number two B cover. That is Venkman and uh, Michelangelo popping up out of a uh, sewer and all kinds of crazy animals walking around here on the front. $4 for that one. That is the A book. Since we already sold out of the uh, the retail incentive cover, that's going to be the last TMNT cover for tonight. A4 to Ryan Felden. Thank you, Ryan. Ryan and Brian. I like it. Brian Kenny was actually in the store today for a little bit. There you go. And like anybody, if you are local and you're buying stuff on the feed, you don't have to pay shipping at all. You can just come in here and pick your stuff up. Works out great. But not until Wednesday. You have to come in tomorrow, which I guess we're closed now. So if you come in here now, we're going to be wondering what's going on. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Where's your gun? How much money do you want? <laughs> All right. Uh, he can hit it now. I don't. I think we're through most of like the uh, well, the, the big hitters. Okay. <laughs> See, it's not really about you. It's not really about you at all. <laughs> Nothing to do with your education. <laughs> all right. This is uh, a Hasbro comp book event. This is the event that, of course, is tying G.I. Joe, Transformers, Micronauts, and Mask, and Sectars, supposedly, all together. This is First Strike Transformers. This is issue number one. And uh, judging by this, it looks like maybe they have been shrunk down Micronaut style. I've got one of this cover right here. It is four bucks. Four dollars for this one. That is going to be the new D-Book. Okay, on the Suicide Squad. All right, let's see. All right. We're going to take down the last copy of Royal City there. Four. And this is Toy Etika, issue number four. And it is um, story and art by Marty Legro. It's from Action Lab. It is $4. And from flipping through it, it looks like it involves a world of uh, people that are basically wind-up toys um, and stuff. I feel like if, uh, if you're a fan of My Little Pony or you have uh, kids or nieces, nephews that are, this can be right up their alley. But there are also quite a few uh, boys and stuff in this as well. So it kind of goes to uh, either... Either uh, gender age group there. Toy Etika, number four for four dollars. We had like six or eight requests for that. That's we had to bring it in by popular demand. All right, this is one has an awesome cover. It is Uncanny Avengers issue number twenty nine. And it's uh, part of Stars and Garters. It's the legacy storyline. And uh, that is Quicksilver there, of course, on the ground. And that is a really awesome-looking juggernaut there behind him. Get ready to smash his face in. That's going to be the F book. Uncanny Avengers for $4. Take down the Supergirl issue 15 for 4 One of my current favorite reads, which I'm, it's weird when I say it, that that's the one I like so much, but I do. I like it. Like, it's been one of my favorite books to read lately. I think it's just, and it, I guess it's the 90s nostalgia coming back. Uh, and uh, Mark Bagley doing art doesn't hurt any. It is Venom, issue 157. It is part of Lethal Protector, the second part of Lethal Protector. F for four to Raymond. Thank you, Raymond. Raymond Snag and Uncanny Avengers. It is a really awesome juggernaut design. Kane Marco. 
How many of you guys know or remember that Kane Marco is Professor X's stepbrother? This is Venom issue 157, and that is Craven the Hunter standing over top of Eddie Brock, gun in hand. Got a trophy kill right there. Four bucks for this issue of Venom. That's going to be the G book. You might say it's in the G spot right now, but I wouldn't because, I, you know, that doesn't mean anything to me. There's Hack Slash. It's 10 bucks. There we go. George gets the Venom. Actually, I got some right here. I'll grab you one out of this pile. Thank you, George. Also, if you want to read about Venom uh, on the MaddoxComics.com webpage, I have reviewed a couple issues of Venom, I think. So, uh, I can't remember. I think I've reviewed a couple. I Definitely at least one. So, uh, you can check that out if you'd like to see what's going on with Venom. That's right, Russell. Right? It's Mark Bogey Venom's cool, man. Unbeatable Squirrel Girl. That's a negative. That's a negative. Zero subscribers. Zero We've not had anybody. We lost all our subscribers to it, and uh, so we had to order three months ahead of time, and we've not had any. We've not had any coming. Sorry, Jay. Yeah, Jay Collins should get that on a subscription list. That is a good suggestion because then we would have to order it for him because everyone who puts him on their subscription list, we make sure they get it in their pull box. <laughs> who we have next? This, I, I have to disagree with Diamond. This comic is called Michael Cray. That's the name of this comic. But not through Diamond. Through Diamond, it is called Wildstorm Michael Cray because... Why not, why not right? <laughs> so, this is Michael Cray. He's from the Wildstorm universe. Here on the cover, he's obviously taking on the Green Arrow. Very cool looking cover. Real world style hero, which is a lot of the Wildstorm guys are. A lot of a lot of gun toting guys. And uh, this is Michael Cray, issue one. Issue one. So I suggest you give it a chance from DC and Wildstorm. It is uh, four bucks. Four bucks. And it's actually got a January 2018 uh, cover month on it, which is interesting. I guess maybe they had it finished early and they decided to go ahead and solicit it. Early. I don't know why they'd go ahead and put January on there. But they did. It is $4. That's going to be your new H book. And the Superwoman put out Michael Cray, number one for four. Oh, next up. H for four to Russell. Thank you, Russell. There we go. Jay has just put the synopsis into the feed, as Jay tends to do, which is awesome, telling us all about the book. Criti critically acclaimed relaunch of The Wildstorm gets its first solo spinoff series. Michael Cray, professional assassin, has been betrayed by international operations and has an alien life form in his head that's either killing him, transforming him, or both. The only thing that can bring sense to his life is for him to do what he does best. I got to get new contacts soon. I'm in my last pair, and it's tough for me to read this phone. <laughs> H4, to, there you go. Jay, I consider you selling that comic. You're not going to get any type of commission, but you, uh, you, you sold that issue. <laughs> Thank you, Jay, for putting that in there. Thank you, Robert, for picking it up. There you go. But he's taking on Oliver Queen in the first issue. Pretty awesome. Uh, this is Wonder Woman issue 34. First appearance of Jason. So there you go. At last, Jason, the brother of Wonder Woman. It'd be interesting. It, it would be interesting if also, for those who might not be aware, this is also a milestone issue of Wonder Woman. Not only is it a first appearance of Wonder Woman, but I'm going to put up the B cover and show you what the milestone is. This is issue 34 of Wonder Woman. It is $3. I'm going to put it right here in the so I spot. Monday when it's $25. That's crazy. And the J book. I'm going to take that down. And I'm going to put out Wonder Woman's B cover next to it. 
The first one does show the first appearance of her brother out there on the front. This is the Just League movie cover. So you get a movie Wonder Woman. It's issue 700 of Wonder Woman. That's right. Issue 34 from Rebirth is really 700. That is $3 for the B cover. That is the J book. Jay, Jay, Russell, Lissette, all right, so we got the three with the I and the three with the J as well, hang, hang on, we'll have to see if we've got that there, <laughs> The I we might okay. These were the first three eyes right there. That's Jay, Lissette, and Russell. And then for Jay, Jay, uh, who who got the first uh, Jays? Uh, Jay Collins. Jay got one. Jay Collins got one, and Russell got one. So we're Coming up, we get the Lissette. Yep. One on the thirty-four B cover. All right. And then, uh, okay, so the J's are all gone. And then Brian Kenny wants an I. So we're going to get Brian an I for three. And then Robert Casterlon wanted an I for three. And that is all of them. Sorry, guys, you didn't hear me say your name getting one. We do not have enough. But we will get more. Don't have any more, Brian. Sorry, man. We only had two of those. That is going to be uh, First Strike, Transformers number one. That is RC on the front. That is going to be $4. That's the iBook. That's true, man. Uh, yeah, Marcus. Uh, what issue of Wonder Woman is that? Uh, one Woman issue 34, A and B covers. Put that in the uh, comments, please. Yeah. One Woman 34, A and B. Yeah, particularly uh, and put, uh, particularly the B cover. This is the wonderful world of Tank Girl. Tank Girl strikes again. Uh, this is cover A. That's four dollars. Only got three of those. That is the J book. Jay gets one. Thank you. That leaves two left of that Tank Girl cover. Um, 
I'd put uh I'd put uh a couple copies of issue number two of Hatchet Gosh Dad Bro. What is the D book? Russell, the D book for four dollars. This is First Strike Transformers for four. That is the Transformers. They've been uh, shrunk like the Micronauts there. Surprised I haven't sold more of these. I've only got three of these left. The Action Comics 991 lenticular cover with Superman busting out of the kryptonite chains while standing in the palm of his returned father. Any hillbilly? Not today, Tommy. No hillbilly came out this week. <laughs> uh, there's not one, Jay. There's just the two regular covers and the two black and white covers. That's all there are. I think it's because of the hack slash part of it. Because hack slash doesn't do the risk scale a lot. Actually, I don't think Vampirella does either a whole lot. Well, yeah, I guess they do to a point. Um, I think we're, we're keeping it low. Um, I don't think it's made for us to order it yet, but, uh, I think we're going to make it pretty low because if it is the hardcover, like the $30 hardcover, like they say, it'll probably just be, if a subscriber says they definitely want it, we're probably gonna take a sign up for it because it's a lot of money to spend on an issue 1000. If it's going to be like 30 bucks, it's going to be cool, but we don't want to, if somebody gets a subscription, we don't want them to make them buy a $30 comic, you know? So. I'm not sure yet. No, no, Redneck didn't come out this week either. Nope. Ninja Turtle Ghostbusters 2B cover for four. I'm going to take that down. And I'm going to put up Danger Doll Squad issue number two. This is the uh, risque cover. I put a post note over that. It is six dollars. That is the A cover. Yeah, it'll be pretty soon. It'll be pretty soon. Mm-mm. No. We didn't get the Judge Dredd either. Any other turtles? No. The only turtle book that came out this week was Ghostbusters TMNT issue two. They only generally ever put out one a week because they don't want to like overlap themselves. Um, or one, you know, when they put them out, they try to put out one copy of something each time. No, no, Marcus, we're good. Put no, that we're, we're fine. We've still got copies of both. Booster Gold's coming back. That's cool. Oh, yeah. I guess Oz, like, captured him, right? Or whatever. This is uh, X-Men Gold, issue 15. It's part of Mojo World. There they all are in an old TV, and Mojo's got them above his head. $4. That is the B-Book. I'm going to take down the Iron Fist reship second printings that we got in. B for four to J. Thank you, J.
All right. The C book. I'm going to take down the uh, action. I'm going to put out Zombies Assemble 2 for $4. This is the manga style Marvel book. Zombies Assemble 2 for 4 bucks. And up here for D, First Strike Transformers. I'm going to take that down. What? What's the number? Uh, four. Number four. This is the uh, trading card variant. It's the Shang-Chi trading card variant of Master of Kung Fu, issue 126, uh, which is a like a one-shot story uh, for the new relaunch of Master of Kung Fu. It is $5 for the trading card variant here featuring Shang-Chi. That is uh, the D-book for 5 Yeah, that was it, Russell, on that one. Now, I do have a second cover of that issue, but that is the, uh, that's the only actual title that came out from them. Nope. Falcon? We do have Falcon number two. Let me grab it out here for you. We had it up earlier. Yeah, George, I've got Falcon Issue 2 right here. It is $4 if you'd like to claim it. You can put Falcon for 4 in the feed, and I'll get it for you. Take down uh, Toy Etika for four. And I'm going to put out this different black and white uh, Hack and Slash variant. Uh, one of the two variants out this week for Hack Slash versus Vampirella. That is them. It's uh, Cassie and Vampirella. Hands locked. You got Vlad there in behind him. The partner to Cassie. That is $10. For that black and white issue. George, are you wanting that issue of Falcon number two? Here for F. This is the Uncanny Avengers for four. And I'm going to put out Tank Girl Strikes Again. This is the B cover, and there she is. She's all busted up, and she's got little uh, cherubs here putting Band-Aids and stuff all over her face. That is $4 for that issue with Tank Girl. That is the F book. That's true. It is. It is. F4 to Jay Collins. Thank you, Jay. I got one more of that cover left. Um, yeah, I think that was the, uh, the, that was the last of that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> What's up, Ed? How's it going, man? Have you heard the good news? <laughs> I don't know, man. We're just selling books. J4 
J4 and F4 to Austin. Austin gets uh, that cover of Tank Girl and one of these covers of Tank Girl. Don't worry, guys. I got some more Tank Girl covers coming up. Austin, now that song's in my head, and I'm going to have to track you down and end your life. Sorry. That's just that's the way it goes. I said bird is the word in the uh, feed, and now I can't stop thinking about that song. <laughs> the lenticular Superman breaking kryptonite chains. Yeah. That is the action comics. It's pretty rad. Eight bucks for that monster. This is Tank Girl Strikes Again. This is the C cover, and it looks pretty awesome because it looks like a classic uh, book. Four bucks for the F book. Uh, eugenics did come out this week, Robert. It did, it did. And uh, we sold out of eugenic, eugenic issue two. We will get more in, though, and we'll hook you up. I didn't realize that it was a uh, miniseries. This is uh, F4 to J. Thank you, J. And the G-Book is Venom. Venom 157 for just $4. Uh, yeah, same issue, Austin. Just different covers, different covers. Batman or Superman? Uh, Tommy, um... The Batman Lost, the regular Superman and Batman issues did not come out this week. Just action and the Batman Lost and uh, Detective Comics. This is Tank Girl Strikes Again. This is the D cover. That's going to be $4. We're going to put that right there. As the G book. Out here for H, we're going to take down the uh, Michael Cray. We're going to put out Zombies Assemble 2. This is the B cover for that. Pretty awesome looking. H book for $4. G4 to J, and Austin says, I just want one issue. I thought it was different issues. Uh, which cover do you want to keep, Austin? That's, that's for uh, Jay Collins. That's for four, yeah. Yeah, it says it near the barcode. It's got the uh, what the actual cover number is. Couple. Well, we can <laughs> donate them. Cover a, cover A is the one he wants to keep. That is, that was the first thing that sold out at Diamond. Like the first. The first thing that sold out at Diamond. I don't I don't deny it. This is this is what tells what happens to Batman during Dark Knight Metal. This is Batman Lost Issue One. It's got the nice chrome. Take it easy, guys. I'm gonna show this to you up close on the camera. It is nice and shiny. And as Marcus said, this was the first thing on Diamond's order form today that we cannot reorder. Uh, so they will do a second print of this, but it won't be shiny and chrome. And Morton Joe won't like it. This is Batman Lost, number one for five. It's going to be the iBook. I'm going to get one for Ed. Thank you, Ed. I for five to Kevin. Thank you, Kevin. Austin, if you want Batman Lost, put I five. 
Can I get it for you? Albert wants one. Austin wants one as well. There you go. That's for Albert and Austin. Honestly, if you want two of these, I, I wouldn't say don't get two because, I mean, these books are not going to be the easiest to get. Say it is an awesome, awesome miniseries that uh, just fantastic. Kevin gets a uh, Batman loss for five. There you go. And my pick of either G4 or F4. I'm going to go with F. I think it's a more interesting cover. It just looks like an old book, and I think that's awesome. I'll get that for you, Albert. Thank you, sir. All right. Cool, cool. Tank Girl for four. I'm going to put out the Spider-Man versus Deadpool 23 variant edition for $10. Just set that right there as the J-Book. Spare for six. That is the Danger Doll. Yeah, yeah, it kind of does. It, it looks like something that she would have amongst her supplies in the wasteland or whatever. Well, Ryan, you should get it. Thirty-five dollars. It was forty-five. That is down ten dollars. So, hey, man, thirty-five bucks. It's a good deal. It's a good deal. Uh, you didn't, George. A, a claim never came through for you. I'll get you one right now. The E number. Um, let me see. Oh, is this your number two? Hack slash Vampirella issue two. Black and white variant for $10. All right, we got you, George. It was the Falcon for four. We hooked you up.
Huh? About what? This is uh, Action Comics, issue 991, The Oz Effect, part 5. This is the C cover. That is Wonder Woman and Batman from the Justice League movie on the front, uh, drawn up by... Uh, Paquette. That is $3. That is the A book. What? Uh, that's the only metal book I have right now. I can't go back and grab anything. The store's closed. I mean, I, I can't I can't go up front and hunt. So that is it. That is it for right now. If I get some time in a little bit, I may try to go see if we have some more. But uh, it, it'll probably be after the 10 o'clock hour. We have a little break. This feed will cut off at about 10. And then we'll come back about 10 minutes later. So I can see if I can get them then for you. But until 10, I, I can't go uh, leave in the feed. This is the uh, X-Men Gold. I'm going to put up Adventure Time and Regular Show issue number four. That is going to be $4. It's going to be the B-Book. That is uh, Spider-Man and Deadpool. This is Spider-Man Deadpool issue 23, the Legacy Variant for $10. Half Spider-Man, half Deadpool on the cover there. That is the uh, uh, J book. If you like it, you just put J for 10, and we'll get you hooked up. All right, no problem, J. You take it easy, man. Thanks for picking up a lot of stuff. Hope you got most of the things you liked, and if there's anything you missed, I think we ordered, like, the Judge Dredd and some stuff. So you will get them in here. I've got a number of merchandise items I need to show you guys. I'm going to show you those here in just a sec. We've got a number of awesome uh, stuff, a number of awesome things, action figures, collectibles, and whatnot to show off, including an awesome Venom statue that you guys are going to like. All right, all right. I got the other mic set up. Let's show what we have here. Okay, first up, we saw one of these earlier. I'm going to show you this right now. This is the Ghostbusters Ectomobile. This is the uh, Owner's Workshop Manual from Haynes. Um, it's the uh, Mark I Ecto-1, the Mark II Ecto-1A, and the JH Mark I Ecto-1. So you get all three versions of the Ecto-1 here. And uh, this is just like... A car manual book you would pick up from the library or AutoZone or somewhere. It is a hardback. It is $29. We ordered, uh, man, we ordered a few cases of these things. We got six of them sent to us. So uh, they are a low print run. It's from Inside Edition. So it's a small company. Um, and, of course, it does show all the cars, the top. It's got the Proton Pack. All the diagrams are all right here. The Ectomobile, $29 for that book. Also, guys, this is brand new from Todd McFarlane. This is Commando Spawn, the brand new Spawn figure as part of his uh, Color Tops line. And if you notice, it looks just like the classic 90s color scheme for the packaging. You get Commando Spawn here. He's got the, uh, the bandana, the cape bandana around his face. He's got a pistol. He's got a sniper rifle. He's got a uh, heavy assault rifle here, and he's got a figure stand. He's uh, somewhat articulated, but he can definitely pose up. Pretty awesome, as you can see right there. Commando Spawn, he's supposed to be 
$27. But if you want to buy them right now, I'll sell them to you for $26. Bucks. 26 bucks for Commando Spawn. I've got a couple of these. This is Venom. That's right. Look at that monstrosity. This is the Artifacts Plus statue. It is one-tenth scale pre-painted model kit of Venom. The tongue is insane. And uh, it's kind of extremely uh, detailed as well. Like The tongue has almost way too much detail on it. It's super creepy. Uh, that is Venom. Classic styled Venom here. It is $100, $100 for the Marvel Now Venom. For Nightmare Before Christmas fans, this is the Pumpkin King Jack vinyl figure. It does look like a large mini-mate. It's a mini-mate. It does not move. There he is with the torch, but it looks like that sculpted styling. It is oversized. It is $10. $10 for the Pumpkin King Jack. This is a figure art zero. This is Boa Hancock from One Piece. She is in the full blister box here. There she is from the side. Here she is, as you can see. That's her kicking with all the effect parts, and she's kicking the heart arrow, uh, a few of them out. Very cool looking. Boa Hancock. Right there. She is uh, $69. $69 for Boa Hancock. And last but not least, check out this. This is Link. 10-inch PVC painted statue. It is from the uh, Breath of the Wild. Here's the full statue of Link, as you can see on the back there. See the back and from the front. Awesome. There he is with the bow. Big bladed arrow there. Very awesome from The Legend of Zelda. It is a uh, first four figures did this. Official product's got the hologram sticker here. It is one hundred dollars. One hundred dollars for the Link statue. One hundred bucks. So one hundred for him. One hundred for Venom. Not bad at all. What's up, Wiley? How's it going, man? This is Kid Lobotomy, issue number one with the gold chrome cover. Frank Quietly artwork. It is one per store, 25 bucks. A3 to Adam Fears. Adam got the action comics. Thank you, Adam. How's it going, John? Take down the, uh, well, no, that's the adventure time. I'm going to leave that up for right now. Let's see what we got here. This is the zombies assemble. We take that down.
What's the B comic? Danny, this is Adventure Time and Regular Show, issue number four, crossover of those two cartoons. And here you have Finn in the Candy Kingdom, and uh, everything's attacking. And uh, because the guys from Regular Show are, uh, well, they're fighting uh, the big, huge uh, bump, uh, gumball guardian things. It is uh, $4 for that issue. Uh, Kevin, the one you got last week, actually I think it was from the week before, was the misprint. That variant, um, the whole character is gold. You can't see the artwork. This is the redo of that that they sent one per store. And it's got like um, zebra stripe gold on the top and side and all over the back. So the first one that you got was the misprint one. This is the regular. So it's pretty cool. If you get them both, you got a set. And most people, most people aren't going to get that first kid lobotomy at all because most stores didn't sell it. So you got a deal on that. All right, up here in the C spot, we are going to put the Archies. The Archies number two for four dollars. For five, that is the Shang-Chi. I'm going to pull those down. Kid for 25 to Kevin. Thank you, Kevin. That's true, man. Need the set. Huh. This is Danger Doll Squad, issue number two. A risque cover, risque variant. We're going to put it out here for $6 in the close-up window. Put that down here. Oh, wait. D. I need to put something up there in D. I'm going to put up Batgirl and the Birds of Prey, issue 16. The Men of Gotham are Dying. And only the birds and their allies can save them. That is going to be $4. That is the D-Book. Down here for E, that's the Hack and Slash versus Vampirella number two for $10. That variant for 10 I for 5 to Russell. What is that? Ah, there we go. I'm going to grab you one of these Batman Lost. Russell? This is Birthright, issue 28. Birthright 28 from Image. That's going to be just $4. That is going to be the ebook. Here for F, this is Tank Girl. This is Centipede Issue 4, Virgin Art Variant by Frank Avia. That's going to be $4. It's a human eye with centipedes crawling all over it. That is the F book for four. Out here for G, that is another tank girl. I'm going to take that down. We're going to put out the Despicable Deadpool, number 289. There's Deadpool taking on Cable. They're being chased by dinosaurs. That is $4. That is the G-Book. I'm going to show you the uh, Spider-Man Deadpool issue here. This is the lenticular cover. And 
these are eight dollars. If you like a lenticular Deadpool Spider Man for eight, you can put it in the feed and I'll get that for you. Zombies assemble. Zombies assemble. There's the B cover. Take that down. All right, and in H, I'm going to put out Daredevil, the new issue of Daredevil, number 595. That is going to be $4. That is the H book. So how is everybody's Tuesday going? You guys have a good day today? What's been going on in your world? Let me know. Okay, and that Danger Doll variant for six. I'm going to put up the Spider-Man versus Deadpool issue 23 for 20. I only received one of those variants. This is a book I have not put out tonight. This is uh, Detective Comics, issue 968. This is the Justice League B cover. There is the uh, bat symbol. This is a... Uh, what is this guy's name? Let's see who did the art on this cover here. If I can find out. Uh, no, we didn't get it. We don't have it. Uh, the only, uh, Daredevil variant I have is this one for $10. That is it. That's all we got for Daredevil. We don't order enough. They didn't send us any of the, uh, lenticulars. Like, I'm sure the Ric Flair 30 for 30 is going to be good, but it's... 30 minute episode, right? I feel like I know everything about Ric Flair there is. I'm looking forward to seeing it, but I feel like it's not going to be full of that much new info. This is uh, Detective Comics. That is the B cover with Batman and Wonder Woman. It's three bucks. All right. Barry got that Daredevil. Thank you, sir. Take down the uh, Spider-Man Deadpool for 10, and I'm going to put up the Detective Comics for 3 as the J book. They'll expand on that. They might. It's tough to say. Oh, is it 90 minutes? Nice. You know, they've got a 30 for 30 podcast, too. But I don't know if they take the shows and just make them audio, because I don't think that would work. 
because you wouldn't know who was talking. I mean, maybe they edit them different. But uh, I was wondering if they had like that Scott Hall one on there, but I've not checked the podcast stuff to see. The Scott Hall that they did was great. This is uh, Batman Lost number one for $5. I'm going to keep this out here in the ice spot for right now. That is a big time book for this week. That would make more sense. Or a 90 for 90. <laughs> J3 to Russell. Russell got one of the Detective Comics Justice League variants. Uh, yeah, it's uh, Action Comics there. Batman and Wonder Woman. It is three dollars. I do have one more of these available. This is The Flash, issue 33. This is a Dark Knight Metal tie-in. It is part one of Bats Out of Hell. And shows the Flash taking on the Red Death. Basically, each issue of this part of the story arc is going to... Uh, the next issue was, of course, this week's How Jordan. Uh, they show that character taking on their Bruce Wayne doppelganger. Um, this is $3 for the Flash. I only have one of those left. A3 to Tommy. Thank you, Tommy. And if you're getting the Justice League covers, that J book down there is the next one. That's the Detective Comics. Raymond got that last issue of The Flash for 33. Thank you, Raymond. J3 to Tommy. Thank you, Tommy. Yeah, these uh, B covers of the Justice League, are, they're pretty cool. I think they're definitely doing the uh, Batman Wonder Woman love interest deal. Uh, you know, that was in the uh, kind of the Justice League cartoon. Uh, in the new movies, it seems like. Uh, yeah, Will, send us a private message. Let us know what you got. Take pictures. If you're local, bring it in. If you're not, take pictures, really good pictures, and send them to us in a private message. And we will get back to you. No problem, man. This is uh, Deuce of Hearts, issue number one for $4. Deuce of Hearts, number one. Love is a commodity. Trade up. There you go. Uh, Deuce of Hearts, issue one from Vault. That is $4. I only have two of these left. Seems to be a pretty interesting story here. I'll take down the, uh, I'm taking the Action Comics for three, actually. I'm taking the A3. We're going to put out the Deuce of Hearts there for four. What is F? Raymond F. Uh, this is Centipede, issue number four. This is the Virgin Art variant. That is a big human eye from by Francovia with centipedes crawling all over it. That is $4. From the old Atari game, Centipede. Daredevil 595. Yeah. I thought I had it out here. Oh, I got it right here. Daredevil 595 is the H book. It is four dollars. Mm 
Ace your four to George. Thank you, George. Was that flash metal I was talking about? Does it tie into Batman? Um, the Dark Knight metal isn't a bat isn't part of the Batman comics. The Batman comics are their own thing. Uh, in the Batman comics, he's proposed to Catwoman. They're doing their own stuff. Dark Knight metal is its own deal. It just heavily involves Batman and the evil Batman from these dark universes. Uh, that flash that I sold did tie in with uh, Batman Metal. Uh, I sold a number of those a while earlier, but it wasn't a one shot. Uh, it was part one of a tie in that uh, continued on with Hal Jordan this week. Like I say, after 10 o'clock, you come back on the feed when we launch again, and I will go grab everything I can find metal and sell to you that we have. I don't know if we have anything, but uh, I'll see what we can do. A4 to uh, Chris Morrison. Thank you, Christopher. There we go. But uh, that's the only other metal thing. Which that was from last week. We sold out. But we sold a whole stack of them today. We did, we did. Completely out of those again. That is a book, Danny. That is, uh, it's like a car manual, but for the Ecto uh, version. There it is. It's a full, it's a full hardback book. I can't show the inside to you because it doesn't come out till tomorrow. But uh, this is the particle thrower. It's a full diagram, the ghost trap. The sniffer, overviews on the stuff on the top of the car, on the sides, house light on the inside, everything here. Even the front hood ornament, which is a little gold ghost. Pretty awesome. That's all in here. $29. Uh, Tommy E. This is Birthright, issue 28 from Image Comics. Ah, weird. I feel like Hickman, I feel like he's more just doing image stuff right now. Hmm. Oh, yeah, yeah. Part two was Justice League. Yeah, last week. This week was Hal Jordan. That's right. What's Hickman riding right now at Marvel? A4 to Kevin. All right. Kevin got my last copy of that. That is all she wrote for Deuce of Hearts, issue one from Vault. Any Green Lantern? Mm -mm. No, we sold out of the Hal Jordan Green Lantern. Uh, well, because the thing is, we don't generally have a lot of Hal Jordan Green Lantern on people's pool lists. So when an issue comes out that times with Dark Knight Metal... Our subscribers pretty much swallowed those up. Because uh, we got a lot of people with the, the metal uh, storyline on their subscription list. But we will get more of the Hal Jordan in. We just don't have any right now. All right, this will be the new A book, I guess. This is uh, 
the divided states of hysteria. This is issue number six by Howard Chaikin. And uh, this issue, I mean, this comic's pretty controversial in general. This one isn't any different. You got a number of drones here flying away from a missile strike they just did, blowing up the entirety of Mount Rushmore. And there's only one president there at the end of it. Probably the president from this comic, but it is very uh, Trump-ish in its look. It is $4 for that issue of the Divided States of Hysteria. That is the A book for 4 yeah, I think he's mostly just been doing image. So, if he goes to D.C., I mean, that's not bad. It's just, I don't know what I'd want him to write. I mean, he's good about anything. Maybe something like Teen Titans. Something I don't normally read that would make me want to read it. Not that Teen Titans is bad. I just don't read it. On the Adventure Time, Adventure Time and Regular Show number four. And I'm going to put out Fallen Sons, issue number one. Season one, number one of Fallen Sons. It is $4. I wish I could show you the art inside of this because it is awesome. That is going to be the B book for four bucks. It has an issue, a number one. Oh, Kenneth. All right, B4 to Kevin. Kevin got one of those number ones. Thank you, Kevin. Fallen Sun number one for four. Never hurts to get a number one. Never, never. Worst case, you get a comic. Best case, you get a comic worth a bunch of cash. Yeah, the exclusive contrasts are weird because it's just like, there's people who are exclusive to DC and Marvel now, but they still do Image. So I think it's just exclusive as in you can't work for Marvel or DC, vice versa, depending on who you're with. Primarily. That's how it seems. It's a good question, Christopher. I'm not 100% sure. It's definitely some type of uh, space situation when, like, this conquering hero has destroyed all kinds of stuff. But I'm just not overly sure what it's about. The art is really clean in it. Um, I just, I haven't had a chance to read it or check it out. It looks cool, though. It will, it, I will say that. It looks very cool. All right, I'm picking on the Archies. And I'm going to put out another book we're almost completely sold out of. This is The Flash, issue 34. This is the B cover, the Justice League cover from the movie. And uh, that is Flash, Cyborg, Aquaman, Wonder Woman, and Batman all on the front. That is the C book for $3. George gets one. I've got two copies left of The Flash.
Thank you, George. Appreciate that. I'm going to take down the uh, Batgirl Birds of Prey issue 16. B4 to Christopher Morrison. Thank you, Christopher. That is the last of that cover. Now the B book is Fallen Suns number one. That is a blank cover for $4. C3 to Tommy. That leaves one copy of the Flash left. Thank you, Tommy. All right, this is Force, issue number one from Action Lab. It's about football. It is $4. It is a number one, and it is in the D spot. Force, issue one, for four bucks. Oh, I'm going to sit down here for just a sec. Oh, there we go. All right, how long have we been live? Three hours and 16 minutes. B4 to Kevin. Kevin gets one of these blank covers. It leaves one blank cover left for $4. And then Fallen Suns is gone. And Christopher Morrison gets it. Thank you, Christopher. All right. Thank you, guys. This is the new B book. This is Generation X, issue eight. And this is M, but she's uh, in kind of like undead vampire form. And it's swirled out, and you see her in her Generation X uniform. Pretty awesome. That is uh, $4 for Generation X, issue number eight. That is the B book. For E is Birthright. I'm going to take that down and put up the last one of these I have in the store. This is Grim Fairy Tales Dance of the Dead, issue number one. This is the C cover. That is $4. Last one of those I have. That is going to be the E book. That one, thank you, Kevin. It's the last one of these issues I have. This is Falcon, issue number two from Marvel, Take Flight. And, uh, ooh, there's Thanos, Galactus, and a number of others here. There's got some mystical stuff going on here with this being a uh, falcon. Let's see. Brother Voodoo. Nice. Uh, falcon issue number two from Legacy. That is $4. That is the ebook. And it's the last one of those that we have. I'm going to take down the uh, centipede. And we're going to put out ghost money. 
Ghost money number four. Here it is. It's kind of a night vision deal. You got a uh, like a uh, military contractor here. He's got his uh, like his SR twenty five. He's got his light on, and he's got a rebel flag bandana. And this girl is coming out of her doorway. Uh, it's not so good. Four dollars for ghost money. That is the F book. What is D? Just talked about it moments ago. This is Force. Force issue number one. It's a football related comic. It is $4 from Action Lab. That is the D book. Take down Deadpool. And I'm going to put out Gwenpool. This is Gwenpool issue 22 for $4 here on the cover. She's got a postcard. Greetings from Latveria. See you soon, Gwen. It is $4. That's the thing. Doom should just open Latveria up to tourism. It could solve a lot of problems if, uh, you know, he just transparent a little bit in his town, his, his country. Take on the Daredevil here as the H book. And I'm going to put out Harbinger Renegades number zero. I've got one of these available. That is $4. That is going to be the H book. It is from Valiant. This is Harbinger Zero. Also, I've got one of these. This dude in his mind. You can see Exo Man of War, Bloodshot, and others here on the front. It is uh, $4 for that. That's going to be the iBook. Both from Valiant. Have any Samurai Jack? Not tonight. No Samurai Jack came out today. This is Batman Lost number one for $5. Detective Comics for three. And this is the last one of these I have left. This is an issue number one from Action Lab. This is the Harcourt Legacy number one. It's a variant cover. It is $4. Dealing with a uh, rich older family and their uh, possible occult ties.
United States of Hysteria. I'm going to take that one down. And I'm going to put up Harley Quinn, issue 31. This is the A cover to Harley Quinn. Part of the boat Harley is the Amanda Connor cover. It is the A book for $3. $3 for Harley. And I'm going to take down Generation X. And I'm going to put out Harley Quinn issue 31. This is the B cover by Frank Show. Let me show this cover to you up close. All right, Danny and Kevin both got A3. They both got an issue of the Harley Quinn. Of course, that B cover is up here. That is uh, the B for three. Danny Gill gets one of those. Thank you, Danny. And Kevin Dutton gets one of the B covers. Thank you, Kevin. B3 to uh, Maddie. Thank you, Maddie. And A3 to Christopher Morrison. Thank you, Christopher. Get your Harley Quinn here. Uh, this is Maddie's. And then uh, Christopher Morrison. G4 to Maddie. Right. And G for 4 to Maddie. Thank you, Maddie. You get the Gwynpool. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Up here for C, that is the Flash. Last issue I have in the store of the Flash. I would love to sell out of the Flash because I like the Flash myself. This is the B cover of the Flash. It's the Just League B cover. If you don't have it, now's the time to get it. Three bucks. Three bucks for this. All right, next up we have a horror comic. This is from Dark Horse. This is the only copy I have left. This is Harrow County, issue 27. It's got a quote on here from Paste Magazine. I'm going to read it to you now. Dark Horse has produced some of the industry's best-loved horror stories over the years. Harrow County has firmly established itself within that legacy of lasting horror. It is $4. That is the C-Book. Uh, James, that is the Greyjoy banner from Game of Thrones. The family who, uh, they don't sew because they live on rocks. They just ride around in ships and rape and plunder. That is the Greyjoys. Their prince got his junk cut off. That is them. Normally these banners are twenty three ninety nine, twenty three ninety nine. But uh, tonight, um, I can sell these for nine dollars. Nine dollars for these banners. That's the Clegane banner with the hounds on it. There's actually three hounds, and of course that is the family that the hound is from from Game of Thrones. Also nine bucks, simply because these are ones that were. Uh, we had them hanging up out in the main store, and we've rearranged some stuff, so got some extra banners. Uh, I did, James. I did. Uh, the, I got one. I've got it right here. 
This is the uh, Spider-Man Deadpool lenticular. It is $8. Also, I did get the Action Comics 991 lenticular. Also $8 with Superman busting the kryptonite chains. Greyjoy banner for nine to James. All right, man. You guys can watch me uh, fall as I try to get this out. And Spider-Man Deadpool for eight. And James gets one for eight as well. Awesome. I'll get one for both of you guys. I'm going to fold up this gray joy banner here. Nice and tight. Get that on board for you. Again, these banners aren't perfect. They have been on display. But for $9 compared to $24, that's not a bad deal. This and this. And then Maddie gets one of these for eight as well. And James is the uh, Great Joy Banner for $9. Still going strong. That's right. I'm like a machine. Comic selling machine. All right. I'm going to put another banner up there. I should. Oh, this is a cool one. Martell. There's the big spear through the sun. That is the Martell Game of Thrones banner. This is the one, of course, by the guy who, uh, well, he almost, well, he killed the hound, let's face it. Or not the hound, but the mountain. He killed him just, uh, you know, he died after he, you know, had his thumbs put through the guy. But hey, it worked, it worked. Yep, we're doing one at the end of the night. Always doing one at the end of the night on the uh, new comic sales. We're doing one about 11 o'clock. All right. Let's see. Let's see. Take down force. Yes, Russell. I knew I forgot something. I'm going to run out there and grab him here in just a second. This is Just League of America issue 18 for $3. That is the D book. I'm going to grab those posters real quick. Put up this force issue here. This here. There we go. Okay. First, I'm going to show this off. I got one of these. This is the Edge of the Venomverse graphic novel. Before Venomverse, there is the Edge of the Venomverse. This contains uh, Edge of the Venomverse 1 through 5. Plus War Stories, number one. And uh, 
Of course, this is when basically everyone is just uh, full of Venom symbiotes. Gwenpool, X-23, a number of people here. Uh, Old Man Logan, Deadpool, Rocker Raccoon, Punisher, and more all in this. This is the Ven Edge of the Venomverse graphic novel. Comes out tomorrow. It's supposed to be $18. If you want to buy it right now, it's will to you for 16 bucks. 16 bucks for the Edge of the Venomverse graphic novel. That's the deal you get for buying it early. That deal will not be available tomorrow. All right, I do have some posters here. I'm going to walk around, show these posters to you. These are retailer exclusive posters. We get sent these by the companies. These aren't co posters they sell to the people. They send these folded up, so they do come to you folded up as well. We'll put them in a bag and board and ship them to you. Um, they are cool. Don't know what we're going to get here. I'm going to open them up and see what we got. These posters are going to be... Um, we'll do... Uh, We'll do seven dollars a piece on the posters. Seven bucks a piece on the posters. I haven't opened open up to see what they are. Oh, cool. All right. This is uh, X Men Grand Design. X Men Grand Design. Which is a new comic that's going to tell all about the history of the X Men. This poster. It's just seven dollars. This is a retailer exclusive poster. You can score right now for just seven bucks. Just put X Men for seven in the feed, and we'll get that for you. Let's see what we got next. Boom! Phoenix Resurrection by Lineal Francis Yu. And there you have Old Man Logan, Kitty Pride, Nightcrawler, Rogue, Storm, and Colossus all being burned alive. By Gene Gray. Phoenix Resurrection, seven bucks. Just put Phoenix for seven in the feed, and we'll pull that poster for you. Let's see what we got here next. Oh, this is what somebody's going to want. This is the Amazing Spider Man and Venom crossover, Venom Inc. And there in the mouth of Venom are the dead heroes. Pretty awesome Venom poster. $7. Just put Venom for 7 in the feed, and we'll pull that poster for you. Let's see what we got here is the next one. Ooh, that looks like Alex Ross to me. It is. Marvel 2-in-1. The Thing and the Human Torch, and that is an Alex Ross painted poster with the Human Torch and the Thing. It is $7. $7. Just put Marvel 2-in-1 or Thing for 7 and we'll get that poster for you. Edge of Universe for 16 to Kevin Dutton. Thank you, Kevin. No, I should put a sticky note on it. And this. This one I'll do for five. It's a smaller poster. This is You Can't Save the World Alone. This is the Justice League Stronger Together in IMAX. And that is a uh, comic-drawn version of a movie poster for the Justice League. That's five bucks for that one. Those are the retailer posters for today. They come in. Ross for seven to Ed. Let me find that one. I think it is. Uh... All right. This is the uh, Marvel two in one poster for Ed. So I'm just gonna put that in there. And then on the back, write what it is as well. That way you remember. Robert Casterline gets the Venom poster for seven. Thank you, Robert. And 
Phoenix for seven to Christopher Morrison. There you are, Christopher. Here's your Phoenix poster. Russell Singleton gets the Justice poster. All right, so all we have left is the X-Men poster, which is fine because I think Kristen kind of wanted it. Sweet. Uh, Edge of the Venomverse is $16. I have one more of those, George. If you want the Edge of the Venomverse uh, book, it's 16 bucks. Let me know. Ah, just missed it, Austin. I only had one of those. Well, Kristen, do you want the X-Men? Seven bucks. You can think on it. Sleep on it. George, I'll get that Edge of Universe for you. George, here is your Edge of the Venomverse for 16. And real quick, while we're talking about Venom, for those who may not have seen it, let me show you this awesome Venom statue. This comes out tomorrow. This is from Codable Kia. It is the Artifacts Plus Venom statue, one-tenth scale. It's the Venom symbol on the side. There he is on the back. You get some close-up shots of him. And there on the side. Very awesome. He's got the symbiote pieces coming off of him. The massive tongue. Reach it forward. This is 100 bucks. 100 bucks for the Venom Codable Kia statue. We get a lot of the Marvel uh, Codable Kia stuff as it comes in. And that is one of the coolest ones they've put out so far that I've seen. All right. Kristen gets the X sold us out of posters. We sold all the posters today. I like it. Thank you, Kristen. What other banners do I have left? I got a bunch of them. It, James, I'll go through them here in just a second. Do I have any other of the Valiant books? Um, That Harbinger is all that came out today, that issue zero. Um, I might have some more. On the uh, new racks, if you're looking for some stuff, what, what titles are you looking for? Uh, it'll be something I have to look for at 10 o'clock here soon. We'll be taking a break for about 10 minutes, and I can grab them. Let me know what you're after. Don't try to butter me up, Kristen. You know you just uh, push away my advances at every turn. Don't want to hear it. Don't want to hear it. Put on a show for these people. She's mean to me, folks. She is mean to me. Yeah, yeah, we don't put posters on here much, but the folded ones we can, and those are the ones they send to the store. We don't put those in a lot of our windows, so usually I try to pass them on to you guys, hook you up with some cool posters that you were not going to find in stores. I know, right? Psh, ridiculous. Psh, psh. All right, so let's put out some more stuff. Falcon. Stay down the Falcon. Let's see. Let's see. What are we going to 
But up next, Hellboy. I've only got one of these left. This is Hellboy in the BPRD 1955. It is issue number three. That is Hellboy. You can see right through him, right to his bones. He's fighting all kinds of stuff here. Occult intelligence. Mike Mignola will help write that. The creator of Hellboy, it is $4. That is the ebook. I was going to show James other banners. That is correct. Uh, they are all Game of Thrones banners. And I'm going to show you what we have left. These are all $9. You guys can claim these at any time, but you're probably going to claim them about as soon as you see them. I only got one of these, and if you don't get these actual banners in my hand, they are $23.99. Um, these are nine bucks. So This is Tyrell. The Tyrell banner. Nice green and yellow. I like it. Of course, they, uh, <laughs> they got ended this last season. Let's see. This is Tarth. That is the Tarth banner. And if somebody wanted to go, hey, just give me every banner you got, I can probably cut you a deal if you buy all of them at once. Just saying. This is another Tarth. Apparently I had a couple of those hanging up. Probably still in a spot where somebody bought something else. <laughs> hey, it's been off for months. <laughs> for me, Game of Thrones gets spoiled the minute it comes on. Because people on Facebook just, I can't believe this happened while the show's airing. At least wait a day. Like, ah. This is Baelish. Lord Baelish's flag here. Deceitful, deceitful sparrow or something there sitting on there uh, on the flag or whatever that is. All right. This is Baelish. Ah, oh, here we go. Mormont. That is the bear in the trees. That is the Mormont banner. This is Tully. What a big old fish. Red, white, and blue. Just like you like it. Still watching Stranger Things 2. Ed, you got to hurry up so I can talk about it on the feed, man. <laughs> what is D? Tommy D is Hellboy in the BPRD 1955, issue number three for $4. Yep. Show you. All right. This is the... Uh, Hear me roar. Lannister banner. It's got the uh, gold bricks up here. They're always paying some debts. It's a nice thin banner. Nine bucks for that one. Oh, D is uh, Justice League. Uh, oh. Uh, Justice League of America issue 18 with Prometheus standing over the body of the Justice League members. This is Aaron. There you go. With the bird. The moon door. And crying, whiny kids. It's all right there. D3 to Tommy. Thank you, Tommy. Yep, House of the Veil. Vale. Here we go. The flayed man. This is Bolton. There you go. Which, I mean, it's not a very friendly banner, but 
I guess it gets the point across. Cutting the skin off of people. It's the way you got to go. That is the Bolton banner there. This is the Tarly banner. Some greens and reds. Got some archers. <laughs> and that is it. That is it for the Game of Thrones banners I have available. Also, I do have this scroll. It actually hangs from uh, this rope. Nice silk top scroll of Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix. With he who should not be named. The Voldemort right there on that. Then I also have... Uh, this Harry Potter and the Order of Phoenix smaller uh, smaller banner. Harry, uh, Ron, and Hermione. And we have this, which is a cloth banner that's been painted, like thick painted. You can feel the paint on it printed here. This is the Harry Potter Hufflepuff banner. There we go. Those are all my banners. Hang on, what is what? Do that again. Did I have any of the hack and slash vamp covers? I do, George. Let me see what I got. All right, the two I have left, they are both black and white variants. They are both ten dollars a piece. If you want to buy both of them, though, I'll sell them to you for eighteen bucks for the both of them. That is the hack and slash vampirella two. Uh, this is. Uh, Let's say the friendly cover and the enemies cover. Because on this one, they're pals. On this one, they're fighting. There you go. Ten bucks for either of those or 18 for the two of them. And what was the other thing? Yeah, we already sold the Stark banner. Uh, I do have more Stark banners, but they are $24. They are not $9 like these. Simply because these were previously displayed out in the store. That's why they're 9 bucks. Yeah, I see that. Um, airport pass, I see some of that like 15 years. What do you mean? The comics coming out, or the movies coming out in uh, February, right? Friendly for 10 to George. There we go. Thank you, George. You got that hack and slash uh, cover for 10 bucks. Uh, yeah, but it's it's only got us at three fifty three right now. Yeah, but I will cut it because I mean we need to make it a little more close to time. So, all right, guys, it's about ten o'clock. We are going to uh, this feed's going to shut off, and we are going to come back at uh, as soon as it lets us, probably in about ten minutes, and then we'll go to eleven. We'll do our giveaway at eleven as well. We're going to keep selling new comics. Plus, I'm going to go grab what I can find, Dark Knight metal related. So we'll see you in a few minutes.